So I did an analyst at the desk at Blast tournament. I was doing a vlog type of content, but after three days where things became really hectic, I had no time to vlog anymore. That is where I decided I will share all my takeaways in a video like this one. Let's get into it and enjoy the clips which I made or are from official stream. It felt very strange to be at an event and not feel emotions like stress, nervousness and worry. You do not need to focus nearly as much when you are not competitor. Analyst job is not easy at all. It is set of unique bite-sized challenges that you have to sometimes deal with live on camera without any preparation. The amount of prep for each match for me was around two hours long. HLTV is absolute goldmine when doing this prep and we are so lucky to have this website available for free for all of us. Usually 70% of my prep was never used or mentioned due to segments being short or we needed to talk about something different more pressing. Sometimes production is talking to you through in-ear headphone to give you cues what comes next. For example, interview or talk about certain player. It is super hard to talk about analysis or numbers focused on what Freya or Pim says and you have a new voice giving you instructions in your ear. This is where I sometimes lost my train of thoughts. Uh, we are storytellers. We can't just say random facts out. We need to make them relate to one another and create a story or narrative that audience you can at least slightly focus on during the game. We balance the segments by talking about players playing well but also some underperformers. We don't do that just to bash players randomly. Being analyst at the start of the event is more difficult than at later stages. At the beginning your data points and references are previous tournaments. Later in the tournament you can reference the team's overall journey so far which you watched already so you have better understanding of what the hell is happening in their game. I realized I need to invest in having a suit. I broadcasted for three days and almost a million concurrent viewers in the same jacket from Zara for 25 euro. I felt like sometimes I was agreeing with others too much. If you notice our desk dynamic, it was Freya dictating tempo, then giving word to Pimp and then it was my turn before we moved on. However, during the event I realized I was often having the same opinion as Pimp, so I did not bring anything new to the discussion. That is where I started to think about different angles to the answers, just to create flavor of new point so I think it was much better last two days in the arena where we bounced ideas much more. Segments at the tip of the stage in front of the audience were the biggest challenges for me. We did not see any monitor in front of us so we had no clue what is being shown to audience by production. We could only pray they are adjusting well with graphics to us. I personally ignore audience around but at some points, few people in freaking banana costumes showed up and I glanced at them for three seconds. And in these three seconds, I was asked a question by Freya and I legit had to come up with an answer to question I didn't even hear. It is very easy to lose focus in these 15 minute segments with a lot of distractions around and once you do, you lose flow and look awkward. Sometimes I wanted to say my point clearly and using anecdote or metaphor, I usually botch those up and ended up stuttering. I need to work on this the most. I was told by all talent people that these segments are the hardest things at the job. I was literally thrown into that multiple times per weekend, but I think I did fine. Pim did not create a single cue card, which are cards you can hold and have notes as help, and did everything from memory. I don't know how this guy does it, but respect. Freya is just awesome. She carried me so hard during few segments, always made sure we are on the right track and we are talking about things we need to talk about. She was also super helpful whenever I forgot something. The whole talent lineup was very nice to me. It felt very open as well. Everyone was cracking jokes, telling stories. I was trying to blend in and understand the references, but basically they have their own inside jokes, memes. It's overall very friendly environment where everyone is encouraging each other. The production has a lot of key words which they use and I did not understand any of them before. First day I had to catch up with everything that is related to flow of the show and it took a lot of energy from me to focus on what is being talked about. Words like housekeeping, EVS, call time, editorial queue, lower third package, etc. were just unknown to me and I was never even ready to use them in a sentence. The days are super long to be honest. Once the show started you have virtually no time to do anything. Games are live, you watch and you talk to production about rounds you want to analyze or stats to make graphics of. Games are not live and you're on the desk talking. The job is well paid, much better than I was expected. I was specifically hired with the words we are going to give you lowest fee because you have no experience yet and that money was already very solid in my opinion. What you see during segments as 
clips or highlights, those are requests we analysts make. During the game, if we see interesting moment or round, we talk through something called intercom, which is like a giant radio to the production. We can say request round six be execute, and they create a clip out of the round, which we will talk about between maps. Or we can do something like Nico package, which will be highlight reel of Nico all kills during the map. During that, we talk about him, how well he played and what he did. Sometimes we would request Alexi B versus Kerrigan head to head and that would be clip reel of them having old rules during the map and we can make a story of how they are outplaying one another. All this is done by production very quickly so we can use it as an asset between maps. I was having a solo room, I was sleeping alone which was something I didn't even have as a player most of the time. Sadly I had no access to PC which would make my prep much faster and I would be able to maybe create some content on travel or media days. Getting a makeup every day for 20 minutes was the best self-care moment I had in months. Just to close eyes and relax, mentally prepare for the day. The positive comments I got for doing this were just out of this world. I never got so many when I was a player. And if I forgot something, I will definitely come back to this video and pin the comment. However, I feel like these are the main takeaways for this experience. Some things surprised me a lot, some may surprise you. But overall, I rate this experience positively. I'm glad I did this and I hope you had a great time watching the show. I tried my best and if I get the chance to do it again, I will do even better. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Take care. Huge shout out to my coffee members for your continual support so I can make videos like this for you. And you should be seeing their names on the screen right now. And if you want to appear here too, please do check my coffee page where you can gain tons of cool and exclusive perks at various tiers of membership. And when I say cool and exclusive, I truly mean it. Go check it out. It's worth it. I promise. Thank you for making my content better and possible.